Character flow also can be like something that is stuck to your teeth, right? You enjoyed eating your salad, probably your vegetable soup and all that, and it's stuck to your teeth. You don't know. You don't see it sometimes. But it is unless until you look at the mirror. And that is exactly what it is. Sometimes you might even be, you don't even know you're laughing, you're smiling with something stuck on your teeth. Until you look at the mirror, that's when you see it and be like, oh, okay, this is there. I didn't even know. So the next person might be that mirror that you need to point that out to you. How about you be humble and be open to corrections? And that doesn't mean that you're gonna live uh, on the dictates of other people because I mean, no, nobody can live that way, not in this world. And that is why I said, it is important to have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. He will guide you. When you're becoming confused, when you're becoming not sure of what to do, just go to him. He's ever ready to listen to us. Hi, beautiful people. How is everyone doing today? It's another new day. Yay. And I'm excited as always to be here. It's a privilege indeed. I don't take it for granted. Each new day that comes is a blessing on its own because it affords us the opportunity to um, become a better human, to work on ourselves and to get better, um, to also um, attend to the things that we might not have had time to attend to the previous days, either because we were procrastinating or because we felt we didn't have enough time to attend to those. So. It is a blessing and no matter what it brings, you know, that's not for you to worry because God is with us all the time. And the Bible says he never leaves nor forsakes his people. Now let's delve right into today's topic and that is character. You know, it's funny how all we do is just to sleep, wake up, eat, dress up, have fun, come back, do what we want to do without even thinking about how our character impacted people or affected the society for the day. And most times also, even forgetting to pray, you know, and say thank God for, um, uh, you know, taking us around um, safely and bringing us back home safely. We, we, we don't recognize to a large extent that that's a huge blessing on its own, you know, safety. Um, let alone take into thought how our character affected other people most of the time we just do our things and just you know um forget about it and don't even care you don't even care how we impacted lives how our character affected people whether positively or negatively so this is me doing a reminder to you to check your character and check how that had affected the society for the day because we all live for each other. No man is an island. And all of us have character flaws. You know, we all have our character flaws. But the only difference is that some people have become self-aware and they are making effort to work on their character. They are making effort to improve their character and get better. While some, well, their own is that they know, but they don't care about it. They don't care whose ox is God. They don't even care to know how it affects the other person or not. It's none of their business. They just want to be themselves, you know. <laughs> Maybe those are do you gang. <laughs> so we also have this set of people that yes, they don't even know. What's my character flow? They don't, they don't even know. It does not concern them. It's none of their business. They, they've not even started thinking about it. They've not even thought of it. Even if you tell them, it does not cross their mind. They don't know. And you know that it is said that um, a problem known is a problem half solved. So when, you, when you're able to spot a problem, when you're able to identify a problem, yeah, it's on its way to being solved. 
But um, the similarity there is that we all are imperfect human beings. But how and what effort are you making towards improving your character? So we all need to work on ourselves one way or the other because really how we live our lives affects the next person. Whether you believe it or not, the, thing, the only thing is that you would be the one to bear the consequence at the end of the day. You'll be the one to bear the consequences of whatever action you put out there. But it still has a way of affecting the other person. If it's a negative consequence, oh, your family are going to feel bad for it. So how about you consider those ones too? You can improve on your character by number one thing is becoming self-aware, like I've mentioned. Because if you're not aware, how can you even start talking about working on it? The next thing will be to be intentional about, you know, working on it. Just keep being intentional about it and be consistent. You find yourself making huge progress. You know what? Our character is um, the essence of who we are. You know that someone can describe you with your character and people would know that you're actually the person they are talking about. The person doesn't have to mention name, you know, and people would say, okay, oh, you're speaking about this person or you're talking about this person. That's how powerful our character is. So you can take us away from our character. Our character is, is, component, is a component of our personality. Our character is formed by, by our beliefs, by our values, by our experiences, and also by our environment. You know, um, where and how you grew up can um, affect your character. It can affect how you behave. So and knowing that our characters are formed by all these things, our characters also form our behavior. And that forms our attitude towards others. You see, you see that this thing is interwoven you can separate our character from our behavior and our behavior is what people usually receive your neighbor your the society you know they are the recipient of whatever behavior you put out there that is why it's important to work on ourselves that is why it's important to care about how your character affects people I hear people always say, do you, do you, I want to do me. You know, sometimes that you, you're doing is not the most appropriate thing at that time, you know. And in that environment, no man is an island. Even the you that you are doing, if you look deeper, you are doing the you because of the next person. This is just the deep truth. It is just the simple truth. So you should take into consideration how do you you're doing is affecting the next person? Is it affecting the environment? Is it affecting the next person? Is it affecting the society um, positively or negatively? We do not live in this world alone or by ourselves. No. So you have to really care about how the other person feels. But like I said, this world, you cannot please everybody. That is a given. You cannot please everybody. And that is why it is very important to have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit because ultimately, it is the Holy Spirit that will open your eyes to the truth. It is the Holy Spirit that will open your eyes to what is right and what is wrong. It is the Holy Spirit that will open your eyes to the you that you feel you're doing if the you is actually... Um, the, the right thing to do at the time. So let's go back to improving our character. You have to be humble as a human being. Um, you improve your character by being humble. You improve your character by also being um, considerate. You improve your character by thinking your actions through before you act. You don't just act on impulse. I treated a topic the last time um, discussing this. You also improve your character 
by being a good listener and by taking corrections. You know, just like I've earlier mentioned, our character forms our behavior, which we actually share with people knowingly or unknowingly. I'm going to give this analogy to explain it better. It's just like um, you wearing a cloth. You're the one wearing the cloth, right? You know how you feel in the cloth. But what we see is how the cloth sits on you, how the cloth fits you. And that's the cloth you're wearing is your character. And the other person that is seeing the cloth better than you is the impact the character is having on the person or how the character is affecting the person. Because you tell yourself the truth, you don't know how the cloth fits until you look in the mirror. The mirror will give you a reflection of how you look. And that is exactly what the society or what your circle or what the next person does. So sometimes the correction they give you, you know, might be the truth. I also explain it this way, especially the character flaws. It's just like you have something in your teeth or something on your face or somewhere that you can't see. I mean, you can't see it. You might be busy um, joking around and laughing and you know having a cool time without knowing that you have something stuck there. But it's the next person that would say, oh, you have something in your teeth. And most of the time, these corrections come from a place of love. And again, that is why I said you have to have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. If you're in doubt, if you're not sure, if you're becoming confused, then go to him and have a conversation with him. And he would let you know what is the best for you. And you should also know that ultimately we would pay for whatever we do in this life. We have to work on being nicer because for the society to get better, it starts with us. Whether you like it or not, your behavior affects people in one way or the other, positively or negatively. I, as a person, I choose to be on the positive side. It's left for you to know if you want to be on the positive side or the negative side. Negativity is toxic. It does not have anything good to it. I know we might not be able to attain perfection so long as we are here on this earth, but at least how about we make a conscious effort? And this is just a reminder to think about your character, to think about yourself, to think about how your behavior affects other people. It is not a do you kind of situation because no man is an island. Sometimes it will pay to do the you, I promise you. But sometimes it might not pay to do the you. Always consider people around and how they would feel. In as much as you can't please everybody, this is just the simple truth. You can't please everybody, but at least. You can make effort to be a better person. Even if you don't want to get better for yourself, how about getting better for other people? Because a lot of times we don't know how much our character can affect people. No man is an island. You can live and you don't live in this world alone. So how about being a little nicer, being a little more considerate, even when you're doing the you, how about you try to think it through, see how it's going to affect the next person and if it is the appropriate thing to do at that particular time. Let's become a good human being. Let's work on ourselves and get better. Let's know, let's always remember that there is a consequence for our actions. We would pay the price for our actions. It might be a good one. It might be a bad one. Which one would you want to have?
And don't let the devil deceive you that it doesn't matter. It matters at the end of the day. Who know they like better thing? Wouldn't you like to be good? I mean, wouldn't you like to be shown love? Wouldn't you like for people to say good things about you? Though not everybody can talk good of you, no matter what you do. That's a given. That is sure. But let's not even go there. That will be a topic for another day. Let's not even go there. Just be good because it is good to be good. And God wants us to be good. And he's there to help us achieve that. How about to try to dish out to people something that is a little more sweeter, a little more nicer, a little more positive, a little more beautiful. And our society will be better off for it. How about you choosing to be the one to start doing the right thing? Just doing it, not because it's attainable for everyone to do it, but doing it because you choose to be on the positive side. That will make all the difference. God bless you. Bye now.